Hi everyone, I'm JD, back again. So, uh, my camera was actually running low on battery, so while I was charging it, I added some things to my journal page. Um, <laughs> sorry to do that without you, but no. Here is what I've added, just point you since this is pretty much about um, reaching that goal of making it to point shoes. So exciting. Um, and the dreams come true, how getting point shoes is a dream come true. And I've already played around with this next page spread. So I've already stuck this one down, which is an image from that book, that dance book that I was talking about in the previous video. And I've already cut things to size and I know where things are going to go. So, um, this is what I'm going to do. Loving how all these little connections. Queensland Ballet ran a workshop with us at our dance school and it was just amazing. They ran it as if it was one of their own dance classes. And <laughs> what a dream. <laughs> I mean, I'll never get into the Queensland Ballet or anything. Um, not that I would want to <laughs> at this stage in my life anyway. Um, but to still be able to have that kind of dream come alive if I did do ballet, that's what I, one of the things I would have done was, you know, be part of the, a company. And so I got a taste of what it was like to be in a company. And yeah, so dreams are coming true, maybe not in the specific way that you'd want them but dreams can still come true in these other little smaller ways which is still fun so yeah that was what the page spread was about last time dreams coming true or dreams is what i'll title it and that's what i try to do with these junk journal with me videos um with my page spreads in this kind of journal everything has an insight or some sort of theme or thing that I want to bring out as well and that's why I try and title the video with whatever the theme is and then hope it is encouraging to you as well so this one's a little tricky because it's on the fold and it is quite thick this card yeah I'm not sure if that's going to work I might have to staple that. And I needed to slip that under there anyway, so <laughs> all good. Um Denise, I used all your glue. <laughs> all that Fabri-Tac. I, I ended up finding that that was my favourite because instead of this glue is pretty much similar to Fabri-Tac but what the difference is is Fabri-Tac um, is tackier I suppose so it's not as runny and not as messy going everywhere and when you put it on the on a um, item I don't know a page oh, look that's going to come off hang on a second so what happened is I tend to, when I cut things out, I, I stick them down and make things with them, like other journals. I've done this so many times, other journals, where I've cut things out and stuck them in journals. And then I always change my mind. I've done it so many times. It's crazy. Um, and that was one layer. This is another layer. And you can already see writing. Like, And then <laughs> that's another layer. So three times now I've stuck this in. A journal or some sort of project that I've worked on and hopefully this time is the last time and I won't remove it and put it somewhere else <laughs> I do that all the time and that's what I mean I haven't found a way that works for me yet because I always just keep cutting things up once I've made something I'll just keep doing something else with it and then stick you there. Anyway, what was I saying? Fabri-Tac. Yeah, once you put it on the piece of paper, it just stays where it is, whereas this one smooshes everywhere and it just goes runny everywhere. 
so I was enjoying using the Fabri-Tac and it's nice and strong so I might look up um, online and just see um, if there's some place I can get it. I'm not sure if you can get it in Australia but um, concentrating sorry <laughs> But yeah, I'll look into it. Anyway, <laughs> back to this page. So, I am gluing everything down and then I will go in and just write something about dance and music, which we'll see what comes out. <laughs> Okay, so just getting rid of some glue there. Um, finished. <laughs> it's a bit all over the place with the writing, but that's the junk journal style. Um, for the love of ballet, and that ties in with Queensland Ballet coming in. In fact, I might write about that. Sorry, hold that thought.
thing I need to do as well, while I remember, is just find a place to date it. <laughs> Um, let me find out the time. One twenty-seven. Okay, I always like to date it as well. So, <laughs> just recording all the memories in this one. So, for the love of ballet, yes, that's what all this is about. Um, came from Queensland Ballet, they did a workshop with us, so there's another dream come true. This came from the dance magazine my mum always bought for me um, when I was, I think I was a teenager at the time. Uh, this one from the dance book when I was a kid. And then, when I dance, I feel beautiful, free and happy. Ballet makes me feel beautiful, free and happy. And I just love that it's a form of self-expression and a form of storytelling. And that that can really connect with people. And then, um, just this little note. I wasn't thinking of doing ballet this term, but when I enrolled and was on my way to class, I was excited. It showed me how much I love doing ballet. And just super thankful that I can dance <laughs> at all and do ballet at all at my age and everything without having done it as a as a kid <laughs> okay so that is that spread those two spreads done I'm so excited yay hope you like them um yeah so I'm gonna stop the video there and then I will get started on the next page spread I'll see you guys later bye